I acquired this through eBay. I love eBay. You can get some pretty good deals. It's a tongue and groove. It's a seven eighths. It's um, an Ohio. And it's AC Bartlett's Ohio Plains, number 66. And I believe the man that owned it, his name was A.B. Crease. And he stamped it three times. But we got a little bit of work to do on this one. Body's in good shape. It's showing no checking. It's uh, not very bad at all, except for some user abuse here in the mouth he's gone at it with a screwdriver or a chisel to clear the throat and that's going to require a good bit of work to get that cleaned up and smoothed out this is a replacement wedge that's been made at home I believe it's a little bit thick because some of the, uh, it's lifting this a little bit too more. And from the original one here, it's a little bit thicker. We're going to see if we can thin that down. And you can see the gouge marks on the tip. It's also very rough. That's just going to be a, just an awful catch. Here's my iron. Not in too bad a condition. That's retrievable. Now this one's in good shape. It's uh, got a good angle here. So this one didn't clear too bad, but from probably abuse with a hammer, putting a metal hammer on a wedge, it's been cracked and broken completely through and uh, re-glued. So we're probably going to look at remaking these. And this old iron's got a little bit of a bend here in the middle. But other than that, it's not in too bad a shape. And it's got the center crease in it that aligns it here keep it from walking um, let's clean it up and see what we got okay I always keep all my scraps and here's a good chunk of cherry I think we'll make it out of some cherry it won't hurt cherry's fairly dense it's got some good tight grain on it little knots running through here so get just a little bit of an idea of what we're doing we'll uh cut that up and go from there They're not uniform, but they serve the purpose. I copied them, so I copied the old replacement. And I don't know how well you can see it, but that's at a good taper. I'm interested to see the tip the screws see if they were machine made or forged
always use the correct slotted screwdriver for the correct head of screw. And yes, they're pointed. So that puts them well after 1841. What I did is I made some pencil lines from the edge out and then a square line across the top and I'm just going to take a rasp and I'm going to even this jaggedness up. I have done the best I can with the mouth. Uh, there is some damage down inside of here that I hope it's not going to interfere with it. We'll see. But right now, I'm going to use some Menendota Plane Polish. Uh, you can look back at my videos. You can go to my blog and you can see the recipe. This is Dave's recipe. It's got an extra additive, a little bit of turpentine. We're going to use some steel wool and a brush. Get that down in there fairly good and just clean away. I'm not reaching to take the patina off. I'm just working on getting the grime and the grit. I'm going to polish it up real good and then soak it with a uh, boiled linseed oil and uh, we'll touch base with you in a few minutes. Very nice. Cleaned up. Look at the medullary in that beach. I love it. But, uh, let's see. Getting there. Okay. Now we're going to pay attention to these guys. Alright. We've got a bit of a dip. This one's pretty straight, but it's got some dips too. Now again, there's a laminated piece of steel right here at the tip, takes the edge. The rest of this is wrought iron. So you can straighten these out with a hammer. And once I do, I'm gonna flatten the bottom of both of them. I think I'm gonna do this by hand, just on oil stones. just work it out. And sitting pretty flat. Now look at this one. Oh my. That's a good bit of bow. So I'm going to put it bow up. Hit it in the bow. See, I took that out. And check it this way. A little bit there. A little more. Pretty good. Check that one. Looking good. Looking good. That's it. I believe we got them fairly sharp. Let's assemble this thing. Yeah. 
keep in mind, this is designed for 7 8 And I'm running 3 quarter pine. look at the inside of this catching that wood so I need some attention because it's hanging on the inside of the body of the plane but I do believe for initial cleanup and some tuning and we've got tongue and groove 